like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals, Inc. Today, um, we are uh, having to deal with a little bit of crappy weather. The um, outer bands of the Hurricane uh, Ida are like coming through and it's just wind and rain and then it's pretty and then wind and rain and then it's pretty. Um, and we don't have a lot of bookings today, so we are gonna play with the animals a little bit. Yeah, always fun spending some extra time with them, enjoying days like this. Um, and we're doing some fun animal paintings. So. Animal painting. Yeah. And uh, they have fun, and then we actually sell the paintings in the gift shop, so that's a way that we can, um, you know, raise, raise some a little funds. bit of money. Yeah, yeah. It helps helps keep them fed. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. And um, I think you're gonna introduce the world to our new cat, Audi. Yeah, and um, we got a new reptile, so stay tuned to check it out. here as well is do some painting so we've got some nice big canvases and we are gonna have some fun painting with them and these will actually be for sale in our gift shop this is a great little Christmas present I personally love animal artwork it is one of a kind the animals have fun and uh, we're gonna have some fun color choices and all this paint is non-toxic for them so they can get all over them they can lick them up and it does not matter at all um, so we're going to put some paint on a little paper plate here, and then we kind of put the canvases around it. We put some snacks all around, and they have fun painting. So we're going to do just a nice little mixture of a bunch of fun colors here. We've got some dark blue, we'll do some greens. And like I said, each one turns out a little different, so it's super fun, really unique. Uh, and literally, if you end up buying one, no one else is going to have that ex same exact artwork. And our animals are quite the artists, too, so it's pretty fun. That fun bright orange, we're just yellow next to that. Red. All right, I think we got, I think we got maybe one more blue. Awesome. So, yeah, we got some fun paint choices. Um, we got some snacks, the little puff treats are always a good choice for the animals to run all around and uh, hopefully we'll make some fun art. Alright, so we've got our supplies ready to go and we are going to do some painting with the skunks. They have a lot of fun, they make really cute little artwork. And Dior is one of our newer skunks, we've never painted with her so we'll see how she does. And Ellie, our squirrel, she's being crazy right now, um, but maybe she'll come down and check it out. She's always very curious too, so we'll go in and have some fun with these guys. some lovely artwork here and um, now it's the fun task of getting everything out 
picking everything up. We're gonna hose it all off. They're gonna have a little bit of paint on them for the next like week or so, but um, it just kind of goes away over time. And um, as you can see, they are amazing little artists and these will be on sale in our gift shop here pretty soon. All right, so next we're gonna try to paint with Rocco, our Quadamundi, and he is very, very, very smell-driven, smell-orientated. He's not really gonna step on the plate and walk over stuff. We're gonna put paint right on the canvases, and he is going to rub and roll and play and stomp all in straight on the canvas. So uh, he's gonna be pretty awesome. So we're gonna do, Kylie likes the bright, bright, bright colors. I'm like, man, Kylie, I don't know what house this is gonna match in but this is very bright, pretty awesome here. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be uh, covered in paint as well, hopefully, if everything goes right, according to plan. So we will get these in with him and show you some Morocco painting. Hey guys, what's up? We are having effects of Hurricane Ida. Just the outer bands are hitting us. It's real rainy, it's real nasty out. We got really windy conditions. All the animals are perfectly fine though. This is kind of equivalent to a tropical storm um, any given day in the summer here in Florida. We're gonna get wane, rain, wind, uh, bad weather. Um, it's kind of just like that, just for a longer extended period of time. But um, we're doing okay, uh, hanging in there. It is windy, it's wet, just kind of nasty. So we'll keep you updated. Hi guys, this is Audi. And Audi is our newest resident here, and he's really special to me because I actually trained him at the Pets Ahoy show at SeaWorld Orlando. Um, so he actually got to retire from that show a few years ago, and he went to the farm to retire and be a little outdoor cat. And so we ended up taking him here to be an indoor outdoor cat for us. So he loves walking around. He spends all morning with me, helping me clean and feed all the animals. He comes in and snuggles in the afternoon with us, and we just love having him here. So I know I love all my cats, and even the house cats like Audi. Yeah. Hi. All right, guys. So meet Felipe. Felipe is an Indonesian blue tongue skink. We have one of these guys, so now we have two of them, and we pretty much bring a blue tongue skink to almost all of our shows. So we love blue tongues. And um, he was a classroom pet, and unfortunately the teacher doesn't have a classroom anymore. All of her teachings is online this year. So um, she decided to get rid of the pet because she doesn't have to go to school every day. She can do a lot of her stuff from home. So it was getting a hassle bringing the animal back and forth from home to class, home to class. So um, she surrendered him to us, and he went through a 30-day quarantine here because you never, ever, ever want to put your animals right next to the animals that you have at home. Remember, it's really important that you quarantine all your animals before you get them. Um, don't put them in your reptiles, anything that you have at home, because you never know what these guys can have. But Felipe is awesome. He was handled a lot by the kids, so Felipe is just a chill, calm, cool, collected dude. And they're omnivores. So he's gonna eat a little bit of meat, maybe a mouse, maybe some ground turkey, and then um, lots of fruits and vegetables. He loves the sweet stuff. So very, very cool little guy. Um, maybe some mealworms too. Really fun. And uh, one of my favorite things about a blue tongue skink is that great big blue tongue there. And that is a defense mechanism. Anything that's big, colorful, bright like that, that kind of wards off predators. It tells predators, hey, don't eat me. I'm bright colored. And things that are brightly colored in the wild are usually poisonous. So if an animal eats it, they get really, really sick. So a uh, blue tongue skink uses that tongue to help defend himself from ward off predators. And a lot of people think it looks like a snake with legs. But if you see right here, those big holes right behind the head there, those big holes are ears. And that is the biggest difference between snakes and lizards. Lizards have big holes for ears. Snakes don't have any holes. How awesome is he? 
Felipe is home. We love him already. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that vlog today. It's starting to rain again on us. Um, I think another band's coming through. The wind's picking up. It's just going to be kind of nasty for the next couple of days. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good day to relax. And a lot of animals did that today. We had some fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the animals do some fun paintings and having fun. Yeah, we love painting with the animals. We put them up in our gift shop. Uh, if you're really interested in one, message us. Maybe we can send it to you. We'll work something out. So uh, thank you guys so much for the love and support. We really appreciate you. Um, and as always, be kind to one another and go out there and do, do something, something amazing. amazing. All right, so we've got our supplies and one of the animals that really enjoy painting are our skunks. So we've got Champ and Dior hanging around here. <laughs> Sorry, too silly.